rocks. What's going on? What's going on, peoples? It's your boy, Cryptocurrency King. Back at you guys with another video. Um, we are getting to the end of the year, and I wanted to just see where I was with all of my cryptocurrency investments. Um, so I found this pretty cool um, pie chart that kind of I can kind of break down everything that I got into over the uh, course of this year. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of, of what 2017 was so far. I mean, it's a few few days left in this year, but let's do a year synopsis of what I got going on so far. So I found this pie chart and it kind of lets me easily explain everything that I've done. Um, so over the course of the year, um, you can see that these are all the assets that I've stacked up. I even have traditional stocks in here over the year, um, which is 13%. And you can see BitConnect is the biggest amount. It's 49% of my cryptocurrency assets at this point. Um, I don't want to keep it that high, my, meaning I want to build the other ones up around it. So I would like it to be between um, 30 and 40% of the portfolio moving forward so i have some other things that i need to build up so that they can get to that point um the next one is a company that sells um they sell mining packages they are a really humongous mining company they mine cryptocurrency they mine ethereum they mine Bitcoin and they're major players with it. They've been around a long time, this company. The only thing with this company that's kind of tricky is that it's hard to um, promote them because they have certain rules where they really don't want you to show their back office or anything like that. So it's kind of hard to promote them from the way I do it. So um, we're going to just call this company U.S. Um and it pays out Monday through Friday, and it's on an average of about 1% a day. Um, each of their mining packages cost about, they're about $59, but, um, and they pay 1% a day. So um, I have that going, and this year going forward, I'm going to build that up. Um, and the BitConnect is going to definitely help build up U.S. Um, and that's going to be a really cool thing uh, with the BitConnect feeding that. So I can have them kind of on the equal playing field. Um, but their money packages pay out for 140 days. Um, the only thing that's bad about the company, other than me trying to advertise it, tiptoeing around names and and showing the back office is um, you don't get a capital release like BitConnect. So after 140 days, you don't get um, your initial $59 back. You would get your you would get 140 percent on your money that you put in there. So it pays out 140 days or until it gives you 140 percent back on your return. So you get, you know, 40% off of every package that you buy because they give you your package back. And um, over the time, you'll get your money back for your package and 40 extra percent. So, but there is no capital release. Um, the next one is Token Pay. Token Pay is an ICO that it's a privacy coin. Um, because right now with Bitcoin, People are starting to be able to track it because it's starting to become, like I said, it's starting to become an asset and moving away from becoming a currency. Um, Bitcoin is slow um, in comparison to other currencies. It's 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 bulky. Um, it takes longer on the blockchain um, than some of these other smaller cryptocurrencies, like a Litecoin, for instance, would be a lot faster 
than a than than sending something through Bitcoin. Um, but Token Pay is a ICO. It's still in the ICO phase. Um, I will. I, I do have a link for this if you wanted guys to get in, but it's still kind of. You got to remember with these ICOs, I don't really try to like pump them, pump them like that because um, they are very dangerous and it's hard to try to vet these companies to make sure that they're actually um, intending to do what they're saying. There's always inherent risk and in, in betting on a company because you have the human risk of whether or not they're going to take the money and do things with it that they didn't say they were going to do, or they're going to take the money and run with it and not do anything that they said they were going to do. And they could start out with no intention on doing what they're saying they do. So um, that's something to be uh, wary about with these ICOs. But another ICO <laughs> that I've done um, that's working out pretty good for me right now is Electronium. Electronium is an ICO that I bought at a penny. And right now, Electronium is around the nine to 10 cent range, eight, nine, 10 cents, somewhere in that range. And I bought each one of them at a penny. So um, I've already made a good amount on, on my Electronium. And it's, that's a coin that will have a mining app on the phone. And right now they're, they're getting contract after contract from phone companies that are going to have Electronium on their phone. So just kind of like, um, I think it's, I think Jay-Z kind of used that as a business model at one point where he used um, a phone company to, his album was platinum before it dropped because um, he used a phone company to leverage every phone they sold. It was like a, a album sold for him. So he had went platinum off before he even dropped it. So oh, it's kind of like that, but it's it's going to be really big in other countries because the, the phone mining app. Because other, in, in a smaller country, you'll be surprised how many people still have cell phones and smartphones. Um, they might not have a computer necessarily, but they'll have a smartphone. So with that mining app in the smartphone, it's really, really going to be a big thing in other countries where you can live off of $20 a day in another country, you know, and live a... I mean, I don't know if I don't want to call it a decent life necessarily, but you'll live, you, you'll be OK um, off of like twenty dollars a day in a country like maybe like a India. Um, so it's going to be really big in other countries um, with the mining app. I also have 13 percent in traditional stock holdings, um, just stocks that I'm going to buy and hold for the long term. Um, that's that's. 13% of my assets that I have invested for the year. Um, and I also have a column in here for the losses that I took this year. So I calculated that I probably lost about $600 this year in cryptocurrency. Um, it's not a net loss where you add in my, my all that I made and all that I lost. It's not that, but $600 definitely went um, into three of these different companies that did not work out and they all pretty much exit scammed. And this was pretty much the reason why I came up with some of the rules that I came up with um, to kind of keep me out of these kind of things. Um, so the first one was BitPetit. BitPetit was a, a company that was paying out off of the Bitcoin that you deposit with them. I had put a fresh $400 into BitPetit when they decided to exit scam. Um, but it was not more money than I could afford to lose. So it, it's okay. And you know, these all ain't going to be winners. These all aren't going to be, you know, everything is not going to be um, off of some sniper, one shot, one kill type thing. Like I had some bumps and bruises to get to this point. So BitPetit um, does not have their own coin. BitPetit did not have their own blockchain. And those are the things that I steer clear of now. But at the time, it was, hey, this thing's paying out this amount of money. Um, every hour they paid out, you could pull the money out every hour. Um, I think I was making, I think this is the one I was making, uh, like maybe it's like 75 cents an hour or something like that off of $400. 
24 hours in a day, that's your money working for you. Um, but it was a it wasn't a solid company. So I, I lost out about four hundred dollars with Big Petite. Electra coin was another ICO that kind of just exit exit scammed. Um, I think I've had about I think I had about between $150 and $200 in, in uh, Electra coin, and they exit scammed. They never came out. They, they took a lot of money, and they ran off. But they did have their own coin because they were putting out Electra coin, but they did not have their own blockchain. So this is why I have the, the rules that I have. The next company, I didn't really lose money with laser online i actually was fortunate enough to get my money out in time i didn't have some crazy reason to get my money out at the time i wasn't super smart and got my money out in time or anything like that it just happened that at the end of my loan cycle with them they had given me my money back so i had made my money plus some profit and then I, I was playing with house money with Laser when they finally did exit, exit scam. So at that point, I was already playing with house money. So I didn't lose money with Laser Online. I'm not going to say I lost money. A lot of people did lose money with Laser Online. So that's why I'm still going to put it in the loser category for the year for me. That's where it has to go. Um, it was exit scam. They were um, They were paying out a really high unsustainable amount. That's why what I'm telling you, when I'm telling you stuff like US is on average Monday through Friday giving you about 1% a day and BitConnect is giving you 0.9 on average per day, 7 days a week. These are the companies like Laser Online was giving you like it was like 12%. It was something crazy and unsustainable. And like they had nothing behind them that was going to be able to keep making that kind of money. There was nothing that they were doing that was really like you could see where the money was coming from. With BitConnect, they have a trading buy. They have a coin that's almost four hundred dollars. It started at you know two two dollars, I think. It might have been less than that where it started out. It's had that much growth. It's got a trading buy. It's got its own coin. Um, they have their own blockchain. Like they're 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 good to go. Like it's gonna it's gonna they're they're gonna be around. They have a solid foundation. Um, U.S. They have mining. Their mining situation is better than anything that I have read about. They have their own technology that has the um the cost of their their mining rigs to be their energy cost is way lower than anything else they have their own patented technology that does that um and they are a solid company they've been around longer than even a bit connect or any of these other companies um they've they were doing a lot of forex trading at one point and now they kind of switched over to the crypto mining and they are going to be a giant they already are a giant as far as crypto mining with their electricity um, technology that they have, the biggest cost in mining is going to be your electricity bill. And also it's a large amount of heat that those mining rigs, they're just mining Bitcoin all day, mining Ethereum all day, solving mathematical problems and helping the blockchain correct and adjust and do whatever it has to do to be secure. While it's doing that, it's putting out a lot of electricity to do that, and it's putting out a lot of physical heat from your mining rig. And U.S. has two technologies that they're going with that has them have a competitive advantage. Um, if this was the NFL, they would be the players on steroids or um, human growth hormone. That's who they would be. They're not playing fair. I mean, they're, it's, it's all legal fair business mind you but their technology gives them such an advantage it you you really need to come along with the, with the ride on this one they have the one technology that lowers their energy cost by about 90 95 percent it's some sort of hydro 
technology that produces energy that they have, and it's allowing them to mine all day off of it without them really using a whole lot of energy. Um, and the other thing they have is the heat that comes off of it. They have a technology that somehow traps that heat and kind of turns that back into power some kind of way. So it's like they got the the one two mining rig uh, punch that gives them a leg up on every other miner out there that I've seen. So that's what they had to stand on. These other bit petite didn't have that to stand on. Electrocoin didn't have that to stand on, and Laser Online didn't have that to stand on. They didn't. And me being younger. These Bipetite Electric Coin Laser, these guys have been down for a while. This was early in my, my journey. I was just seeing high returns, and I was like, yo, let's do it. I didn't really have any rules. It's the wild, wild west. But that's where I'm at. That's that's where all my um that's where all my things are at. So that's the whole pie. I'll save the pie. Yep, so that's pretty much it. That's the whole thing. Um, that's my journey so far up until this point. Um, and I'm, I'm happy. I, I can't wait next year. Next year is going to be a fantastic year with um, all the cryptocurrency that I'm going to be investing in. And I can't wait to the point where, um, sorry about that, I can't wait until I can get to the point where my cryptocurrencies are for me to get more and more other cryptocurrencies. Like, I can't wait until... BitConnect is really um, putting out enough money for me to load up on mining packages from U.S. I, I, I can't I can't wait. And it's going to be one thing, build it on another, and it's just going to all snowball. And then um, I'm just going to be stacking up Bitcoin. Once I get everything bubbling, excuse me, the way I want it, I'm just going to stack Bitcoin with it. And I'm not going to be buying Bitcoin no more. I'm just, I'm going to be making Bitcoin. So it's your boy, Cryptocurrency King. Um, sorry for the wait. <laughs> um, but I'm back. I'm back at you. And um, let's get this, um, let's get this money. And 2018, my net worth is going to probably triple, quadruple, I don't know what, 10x. Yeah, we got to start talking x after the number because this money's getting coming in crazy. So it's your boy, Cryptocurrency King. And um, I'm going to holler at y'all a little later on. <laughs>